I started my apprenticeship in chemical coatings uh, 47 years ago when I was at the age of 17. Learned from, from very brilliant people who were patient and kind to a young man who wanted to know something and he helped, they helped me. So I was fortunate enough to meet people towards the end of their career from the aerospace industry who took the time with me. So anyway, these fellows taught me all the basics of conventional coatings. And at that time, uh, the coatings industry had stuff that worked great, but it's very toxic. I started to branch out on my own, my own understanding, and start forming my own conclusions and doing my own development. And that led to the nanotechnology and components and materials we use now to make our coatings that actually deposit and make the quartz layer part of the surface we're applying it to. Essentially what we're doing is we're turning things into quartz. That's been very difficult to accomplish because quartz isn't very sticky. We figured out how to essentially turn quartz into a liquid, spray it onto a surface, and then it grows together into a new quartz layer. Not only together, but also into and onto a surface. And so you're effectively turning something into a layer of quartz that's perfectly clear. It's not gonna have any problems if it's outside or in an aggressive environment, marine, automotive, or, or a bridge, for example. We're doing this performance-wise, very superior way to conventional coatings. Not just that we were being friendly to the environment in this case, which we were, that was part of our design parameters, is to make this stuff friendly to environment and people. We had this, this process that we could apply and protect all kinds of different things. We're low VOC, we're low toxicity is really up down at the bottom of the charts. Very safe to work around. We are working in automotive, uh, marine, construction material preservation. Uh, we call that asset preservation. You can apply that to anything. We're working in optical industries. We are first of all providing the best possible protection to assets. And we want to outperform the conventional coatings that had to be high VOC in order for them to work. It has to be environmentally friendly and friendly to people, plants and animals. That's our mission. The, the mission that we have with Ionics is really just to make as many things as we can last much longer. Having quality protection is, you know, you want to protect it once, you want to do it right, and that's what we do with Ionics.